I'm super proud of you. It finally seems like since last time, things have finally come together. The art show was incredible. How'd you feel about it? It was great. I definitely got to network a lot and I met a lot of people, but I almost feel like I got the most love from people I've never even met before, like the people that I knew the least. I literally give so much of myself to other people and making their visions come to life. Then by the time I have my vision of my own, the people that I expect to be there are nowhere to be seen. All I ask for is support. And the people that I do the most for were the people who couldn't even give me half of that in return. Trust me, I feel you. I know that feeling far too well. Let's sit down for a minute and talk about it, all right? Listen, Andy, you gotta understand this. Some people don't come in your life to love you. They come into your life to use you. They don't come to bring to your life. They come to take from it. They don't see you as a person, they see you as an opportunity. Trust me, I've been there. These are the type of people that don't love you for you. They love you for what they can take from you. They're not loyal to you. They're loyal to the benefits that come with you. That's why they never show up no matter how many times you showed up for them. That's why they never offer help no matter how many times you've helped them. Like for real, stop breaking your back for people who clearly don't got yours. Like I live by this, you don't have to live by it. But if it's not reciprocated, then that relationship has to be annihilated. I refuse to be used. So stop taking punches for people who wouldn't take a punch for you. Stop keeping people in your boat that ain't rolling with you. Stop being there for people that always disappear on you. I hate to say this, but it's facts. If they're not supporting, then they shouldn't be important straight up. Just because someone is in your life doesn't mean they want the best for your life. So let me ask you this question. If your talent wasn't there, would they still be there? Exactly. If you were to get down in life, would they still stay down for you? If all you had to offer was friendship, would they still be around? I know you want their support, I get it. But understand, you don't need their support. I know it sucks when you find out the ones you love the most will sometimes support you the least. I know it sucks to find out the ones you did the most for won't even do the least for you. But don't let their lack of support create a lack of belief. Get around people who appreciate your talent. Not just want to use you for it. Get around people who pour into your cup. Not just want to drink from it. Get around people who want to help you elevate your life. Not just use you to elevate theirs. Stop keeping these leeches, yeah, leeches, in your life that expect everything from you but give absolutely nothing to you. And I get it, you might say, well, who's there to support me? There's a world full of people waiting to support you. So don't let those that don't support you keep you from seeing that. And I wanna be clear, when you remove these people from your life, because you will, they're gonna to try to paint a picture to the world that you're wrong when they did you wrong. But I want you to understand this, Annie, and never forget it. Never feel guilty for cutting someone off when they handed you the scissors. But like I always tell you, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Thank you for watching my new video. Please press share, tag somebody to this video that you know needs it.